Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's Vocational Series of YouTube tutorials. Today we'll be doing a quick run over of Euler's method uh, for a first order differential equation. And I won't be going that slow because I think most of you, if not all of you, would have met a differential equation before and you may have already met Euler's method. So we have there in front of us some uh, differential equations that you probably have met either in maths class or mechanics class or you know structural or you know the civil soil mechanics or whatever but you pro and you definitely would have met newton's law of cooling say in first year physics have to have and you probably met i don't know free falling body in physics as well so we want a method uh, of solving these differential equations and sometimes I'm just not going to go through this line by line sometimes you're able to get an exact solution to a differential equation by straightforward integration or as the Americans would say antiderivatives but whichever but sometimes you can't do it you just can't get a solution so you have to do a numerical method to solve that important thing here is to solve this uh, numerical method you need a boundary condition that's usually you know what y is what y naught is given x naught okay so we're going to look at this more slowly so here we have we have a, a first order differential equation and we're trying to solve and initially here we call this x naught y naught and we're saying the y derivative is the f of x bracket or comma the y of x so what does that mean let's go on a little bit so this how do we solve these differential equations we have the initial point x0 y0 and there's x actual and y actual and what we're trying to do is get a numerical method that will give us actually x actual and y actual now as we see uh, over the forthcoming weeks some methods are poor and then we try and use better and better methods so this is the initial point this is the terminal point now Euler's method here briefly if we did Euler in one step you have x0 y0 and you get the tangent plane there and the tangent plane is in orange yellow and there's actual y actual and that would be the error that you would predict now that would only just be for one tangent plane now as i mentioned here euler said that if you broke this into a number of steps you get a number of tangent planes and hopefully you'll end up with a better answer so this is done graphically on the next slide there's the first tangent plane that's at x1, second tangent plane x2, third plangent, tangent plane x3 and fourth tangent plane x4 and that you've ended up with a nearer approximation there than we had on the previous slide. Now as you probably know or if you even didn't know the more uh, you divide this up the more x naught x last the initial the bound or so the initial point and the actual point the more you divide it up the more tangent planes you're going to get the more tangent planes you're going to get the nearer x4 y4 and x actual and y actual are going to be so we have a worked example here I won't do the last one so there's my differential equation there's my boundary condition so x0 is 0 x4 is 2 and we're going to div into four iterations we're going to divide into four strips and as you see it's a fairly weak answer so 2 minus 0 over 4 is a half grand okay so x1 that's x1 is the x0 plus the strip width that gives me a half y1 equals y0 just go back here a sec y1 is y0 the f of x0 y0 by delta x 
So uh, y1 is y0, y0 is 0, that's given over, oh, sorry, y1 equals y0, y0 is 1 there, x0, y0, so x is 0 and y0 is 1, so 0 squared by 1 by the strip width, which is a half, so that goes to 0, a half times 0 is a half, and so we end up with 1 x2, we're on the second strip, so at x2 we're 1, y2 equals y1, what's y1? 1, x squared y, and what values do I put in for x squared y? I put in x1, y1, what's x1? A half, so it's a half squared by y1, and y1 is 1, because we got it from there, do the maths, you get 1.125. x3, we're at the third strip, we're at 1 and a half y3 equals y2, 1.125, by x0, not x0, by x2 squared y2, what's x2? 1, and what's y2? 1.125, by the strip width, do all the maths, 1.6875. x4 is 2, we're on the last point, y4 equals y3, 1.6875, x3 squared by y3 by the strip width. What's x3? 1.5. What's y3? 1.6875 by the strip width. A half. There we are, and we get 3.58594. Is this good? Is this bad? It's pretty appalling. If you do the integration for that, that's the solution. And y2 for that is 14.3919. Uh, you, you, we're going to have a lash of that in Excel. I went out to MATLAB. And I had a go at it in MATLAB. Now I used a more advanced method. So the mind doc I like, I've defined my function. There's the function handler, x, y. There's my function, x squared, y. I just put a little comment here though. The, derivative, the differential equation is x squared y, just as a little comment. These are my outputs. I call this solution method ODE45, which I haven't met yet. The function, what's the function? x squared y in the range 0 to 2. And my boundary, my, my initial condition is 1. There's, you know, we're going in steps. x is 1.9, x is 1.9. 5, x is 2, and what's my solution down here? Using this uh, improved numerical method, 14.3922. Uh, what's the exact solution? 14.3919, that's the exact one, but using Euler's method, it's fairly atrocious, 3.5895. 3.58594. If you did Euler's method with 10 iterations, you get a much better answer. I don't have it done, but you would, the more iterations you do, the better it is. Okay, so thanks very much for listening.